film project. Our group name is the Teletubby Squad, and we consist of Sam Sullivan, Hi. Brian Fennelly, hey. Eric Anderson, Hi. Brandon Kern, and Dan Hannon. Hi. The title of our project is Tom Sawyer's Mischievous Mishap. We chose to film the following scenes, the whitewashing scene, the graveyard scene, the, pat the cat and painkiller scene, and the I can lick you scene. We chose to do these scenes because we think these are ex excellent examples of Tom getting into mischief and sometimes deeper trouble. We also chose these scenes because they are funny chapters and we would and it would be and we thought it would be fun to reenact them. We also would like fight we also would like fighting each other and it would be funny feeding cats painkillers. This project is rated G, making it fun and enjoyable for all ages. So sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> scene is about Tom having a fight and using the terms like licking, which means fighting, or the way to fight. Since the project is about filming a part of the book, I Can Lick You scene has imagery and seems fun to do. We wanted to do this scene because the project that was funny and interesting to the audience. This scene is a great example of Tom being mischievous because he fought Alfred Temple in the street when both, when both should have have minded their own business, so please sit back and enjoy the show. I like to see you try. Well, I can do it. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. You can't. Can. Can't. Ain't none of your business. Well, I'll make it my business. Why don't you then? If you say much, I will. Much. 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 Party. I can lick you with one hand tied behind my back. Why don't you do it if you say you can? Well, I can. You think you're so smart. I see your whole family's in the same fix. Oh, what a hat. Well, I dare you to knock it off, and you can suck egg. You're a liar. You're another. You're a fighting liar that doesn't take up. Oh, I have to take a walk. Say, if I give you more stash, I'll bounce a rock off your head. Of course you will. Well, I will. How do you do it, then, if you keep saying it? You're just afraid. I ain't afraid. You are. I ain't. You are. I ain't. You are. I ain't. You are. Get out of here. Go away yourself. I won't either. So they stood each with a foot paced at an angle as a brace, and both shoving with might and main, and glowering at each other with hate. But neither could get an advantage. After struggling till both were hot and flushed, each, rela each relaxing his strain in watchful caution. I I'll tell my big brother on you. I don't care for your brother. I got a brother bigger than he is. Well, brothers were imaginary. That's a lie. You're saying so, don't make it so. Hey! I dare you step over that line. I'll lick you till you can't stand up. Now just do it. I will do it. You keep saying it, but you ain't doing it. I'm gonna do it for two cents. The new boy took two broad coppers out of his pocket and held them out with diversion. Tom struck him to the ground. In an instant, both boys were rolling and tumbling in the dirt, gripped together like cats. And for the space of a minute, they tugged and tore at each other's hair and clothes, punched and scratched each other's noses, and covered themselves with dust and glory. Presently, the confusion took form, and through the, the, the fog of battle, Tom appeared, seated astride the new boy and pounding him with his fists. The whitewashing scene relates to the project theme because Tom is being mischievous by telling his friends that whitewashing his friends is the most fun thing to do and that they should try it. Tom did this because he didn't want to have a paint, have to paint the fence all by himself because it's boring and really time consuming. Also he gets all his friends to do it, then he'll take half the time and Aunt Polly will think he did it all by himself. This is obviously an exam example of mis mischief. Please sit back and enjoy the show. Hey Jim, I'll go fetch your water if you want well soon. Old mister, I gotta go get this water. I can't fool around with anybody. Never mind her. Jim, I'll Give me the bucket and I'll only be gone in a minute. Nah, Tom, I don't want to fool around. I don't want to get in trouble. She might whack me. She'll chop my head right off. Oh, she never licks anyone. She usually only hits you over the top of the head with a thimble. I'll show you a marvel, a white alley. Oh, that's mighty gay marvel, Tom. Jim, go get the water. Huh? Get back to work. Sorry, man. Turn over slow. Chow, ow, ow. Oh, yeah, you're a stump, eh? Just. I 
Hello, old chap. You got to work, eh? Oh, hey, Ben. I didn't see you there. Say, I'm going in swimming. I am. Don't you wish you could? But you'd rather work. Ben, what do you call work? Not work? Well, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. All I know is that she eats Tom Sawyer. Oh, come now. You ain't telling me like, like you like that. Come on, who do I I don't know. I'm Polly's awful particular about the outside, but if it was the inside, I don't care and she wouldn't either. No, is that so? Well, Tom, if I was you, I'd let you whitewash. Just let me do it a little. I'll give you the rest of the sample. Well, I don't know. Come oh, on. all right. The rest. Just let me try. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Tom feeds Peter, the cat, painkillers is an example of Tom being mischievous. The scene, the scene relates to the theme because he feeds the cat painkillers instead of taking them himself. Feeding the cat painkillers causes the cat to go crazy and run around the house. Aunt Polly then heard all the commotion and decided to see what was going on. She then saw Peter running all around the house. Tom, should have, Tom shouldn't have even fed the cat anything. Instead of taking his medicine, he gave it to the cat. This is clearly an example of mischief. Please sit back and enjoy yourself. Now don't ask for it unless you want it, Peter. I'll give it to you, but you better make sure. All right, here you go. Oh, what on earth happened to this cat? I don't know, Aunt. I never seen anything like it. What makes you like so? Gee, I don't know, Aunt Paul. Cats always act so when they're having a good time. Okay. Yes, sir. At least that's what I believe. You do? Yes, sir. Now, what you treat that poor dumb beast so for? I did. I had pity on him. He hadn't had any. Hadn't any, huh? You numbskull! I got to do with anything. Peeps, because if he'd had one, she'd have burned around himself. She'd have roasted his bowels out of him. I mean for the best, Tom. And Tom, it did do you good. I know you were hoping for the best, Auntie. But so was I for Peter. Go along with you, Tom, before you aggravate me again. It's about how Tom and Huck went to the graveyard to get rid of warts by using a dead cat. They're supposed to throw that the devil, but they but when they got there, they saw Indian Joe, Muff Potter, and Doc Robinson. They seemed to be digging up bodies, and Indian Joe yelled at the doc because the doc's dad put him in jail for being drunk. After Injun Joe yelled at Doc Robinson, the Doc hit Muff in the grave and he passed out. So Injun Joe stabbed the Doc and put the knife in Muff's hand and told him that he killed the Doc. The boys ran away after they witnessed all this. I do you think it's okay to be here with them dead people? I wish I'd know. Look, someone's coming. It's the devils. I wish I hadn't been here. You, what about me? No, Hucky, it's not the devils, it's just Doc Robinson. Engine Joe and my father. Engine Joe, I hate that murdering half bread. Tom, can you pray? I'll try. You really need to ask me. You better hurry up. It's only midnight soon. Hurry now, saw bones. We'll be out of here in a minute. That's the talk. L look here. What's this? I already paid you early. Yeah, your father jailed me for a vagrant. You think I'd forget? Here now, don't hit my part. That's the score. Dang you. <laughs> Lord, who is this, Joe? It's a dirty business. What'd you do it for? I never, I never ever done it. I look, swear. Look here, that talk won't wash. I thought I got sober. I shouldn't have drank last night. Cause now I'm gonna get convicted for that murder. Snapped and just jammed it into him. And then you just laid there dead till now. Joe, I swear I didn't know what I was doing. I've been drinking all night. I was drunk. You know. You're a man to me, Muff. So I won't tell on you. Joe, you're an angel. I bless you till the day I die. Alright, Muff. Let's go now and leave your tracks behind you. Tell a tummy squad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to kill you. 
Can you guys check the um, grammar before this? Or?